sir, good sir. Have you yeah. seen this woman before? You seem to have held on to the past, don't you? Well, she lives down there. Thank you, thank you. What a strange man. Right, I'm coming. Uh, who are you? I'm a detective. Um. Uh, well, what can I help you with? Are you the author of this book? Uh, yes. I was hoping you could help me out with what all this means. You'd better come inside. Things like this. I'm going to discuss it indoors with a cup of tea. I'll put the kettle on. Thank you. Here's your tea, detective. Thank you. Judging by the way you were looking at that book, and where you're looking now, I would say your troubles have truly returned. So, forgive me for being so blunt, but... That's okay, Detective. I feel as you walked into this town, you felt a strange resonance. Am I right? Yeah, yes, you are. All of this was a result of what happened many, many years ago in the time of the witches. The dark times, when the witches were defeated, they curse their slayers and their bloodlines and the town itself. If anyone from either bloodline came into this town again, great misfortune would come down on it. Nothing happened for a good many of years. In fear of the curse, then the descendants got fearful and ventured into their own town. That's when the trouble started. Of course, back then, they never quite knew what it was. Oh. I'm sure some people had an idea, but they were too afraid to say it out loud. Throughout history, terrible things have happened here, and now it looks as though they are starting up again. Tell me, what brought you to this town? I was following up on my own private research. There was a strange symbol in an alleyway murder not too long ago. I wanted to investigate its origin. I just got caught up in all sorts of symbols. And then, my research led me here. You were drawn to this place, Detective. Something in your blood was telling you to come here. You mean, I'm a descendant? And something is telling you to put a stop to this once and for all. You only came here for answers. Well, it's safe to say, I wasn't expecting this news when I woke up this morning. <laughs> well, let's think of a plan then. We? Oui? Well, of course. You didn't think I was going to let you do it all alone, did you? Haha. -ha. You may be the only one that can stop this once and for all. What is it? It's simple. I don't know why we didn't think of this sooner. Why don't I just leave town? It's only activating when we're both here, right? So I can just leave. It's simple. What? What is it? Well, it's not that simple, I'm afraid. Once the curse is activated, you just can't unactivate it. Not with that dispose of an element or of a person. Wait. You mean I've got to kill someone? I know it's horrible, but it's the only way to save the town. One more thing, we have to act quickly. Oh great, the plot thickens. 
Dare I ask what it is? There is no other way. Part of this, this curse, is that the people affected by it, well, they start to come possessed. They will kill what they see fit, and they will lose their rational. Am I right? How should I put this? This shadow has already started to kill. To top this off, you start to become weaker, and he will become stronger. As a bond between you both starts to become stronger, we'll need to move fast. Right. We have a busier night than was anticipated. So now we know to stop this curse, we just need to find that person. We will, we will. He will sense you. And he'll know where to find you. Well, that's reassuring. I know, what about the church? Surely you can't tell me foul plays happened there too. Oh, come on. There's got to be some place. We're running out of time. How about the school? Back in the old days, when it wasn't a school, there was plenty of foul play. Oh, no. No way. Oh, come on, Miss Dilber. Get some excitement in your life. What's the worst that can happen, eh? Actually, don't answer that. This place would be perfect. And you can't tell me someone was killed here. <sighs> okay, fine. Only because we're running out of time, and we need another alternative. Right, come on. We've got work to do. I tend to be the bearer of bad news. Well, what is it? Well, this room is a bit too small. Have you got a bigger room in the house? I know how to solve the problem. Follow me.
not bad. Even if I do say so myself. I just hope it works. It has to work. Well, what do we do now? We just wait. <laughs> well, that's exciting. Wait. I think I hear something. Do you hear that? Shh. Leaving it to me to break the silence, are we? Well, I must say, this is the strangest family reunion that I've ever been to. She did tell you that we're from the same bloodline, right? bound together by some ancient curse. The same curse that is making me stronger and you weaker by the second. Ring any bells, hmm? I see you've been staring at our symbols. We made them for you. Uh, I hope you like them. Shh. The more you stare at them, the longer you become angry. Shh. And the more you stare at them even more, you'll become angry even more. Shut up. <clears throat> the curse of the ancestors bound in blood. Increase your hold on the town of Oakwood. I am demanding you now to restore the balance. And snap these ancestors out of their trance. Surely you never, you never gave up on that easily. Oh, that hurts. God, at least I know you're for real. Well, where are you going? Well, after something like that, it's best, you know, cleanse yourself. 